So Fortnite finally added the long awaited playground LTM last night and shortly after they removed it due to technical issues. <laughs> but regardless, I did get a couple of games in. I think it's really important to have a practice mode in any game that has a skill ceiling and Fortnite is no exception. It's good for the game to allow newcomers to be able to get the feel of the game without the pressures of worrying about being killed at any moment. Unfortunately, I don't think this mode will be as helpful to new players as most people thought it would be. Keep in mind, we never got any details about the Playground LTM before its release. We really had no idea how it will work, but now we do. It's a mode that only you and three of your friends are able to join. If you don't have anyone in your group, you land alone. This is both bad for new players and old players alike. For new players, you most likely won't have any friends in Fortnite considering you just started, much less any friends who want to take the game seriously enough to want to spend their time on a practice mode. This means that newer players don't really have a practice mode. Sure, they can learn the map a little better and practice their keybinds, but you can't really improve if you aren't putting yourself in a position that you will improve. And practicing how fast you can build a one by one can only help you so much if you're doing so in optimal conditions where you aren't being attacked by anyone. If you happen to get some people to queue with you because of finding people through some other means or if you're an older player who has managed to make some friends, it's still not that great. Sure, you get to have duels with your friends and finally prove who's the best between you, but as for self-improvement, you want to fight more than just your friends. When you fight the same person over and over again, their patterns become more and more predictable and the fights become easier. When you fight random people, it pushes you to improve more and stay on your toes because you don't know what they're going to do and that adds an element to training that can't be overlooked. Now I know I sound like a tryhard, but I really do think the playground LTM should allow for random queues, if not 100 players per match, a lesser amount, even 10 would be better. If you can't go that far, then allowing squads to fill would be nice, having 3 random players in your game would definitely allow everyone to practice and grow. <sighs> Anything is better than zero. The biggest reason I think this should be implemented is because it would add a social element to Fortnite. You could have people making new friends here, make it have proximity chat, allow people to explore the map together, practice strategies together, and make new experiences together. This would add an unbelievable amount of content to Fortnite and make it so much more appealing to both newcomers and veterans alike. Needless to say, the Playground LTM has huge potential for this game. But as it is now, it's nothing more than a shallow Minecraft lobby.